Right, no connection. Where's my key? You've not sent it yet. You said you would. Uh, maybe we have to do the same thing. Oh no, there's the key. So maybe we have to do the same thing we did before and plug in these places, but no, maybe we don't. Okay, he, he has... He likes to hide. Uh, Councillor's office. Which I think is that. So he likes to... He, every shadow and every nook is a place he can hide. I don't much love the sound of that. Shush. Best for for friends, 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 friends. And that is catnap, isn't it? Because he's got the half moon necklace on. All right. Come on, Poppy Playtime, Chapter Three. Give me a give me a good final final area. Okay, wait in line. A council will see you as soon as they are available. Practice patience. Candy cat snacks. But this isn't candy cat. This is cat nap. Oh my goodness. Your tools won't protect you. Right, so we need a battery. I can see it. There we go. I'm nervous now. That there's going to be a cat nap somewhere. Right, can we... We can steal it back. We've really not been able to do that before. I'm not just making that up, right? Okay. I was about to say, it's maybe better not to open these... ...these doors. I really hate the noise that happens when you put the gas mask on. It's a lot louder than it should be. And a lot scarier than it should be. Oh my god. Joy. Help. Oh, scratches down the wall. It's building us up for some... some scares here. Do we want to go that way? Head of school, Maria Ashokan. Is there anything useful in her office? Not that I can see. And again, where's my torch gone? Joy. Turn and go home. Try not to breathe in too much of that. Oh, run. I will if I need to. Help. Ooh. Oh, it's starting to creep me out a bit. Who is this? Head of Toy Store. Eduardo something. Oh, nice. A boogie bot. Bonzo Bunny sings songs and bangs cymbals. There's Mummy. There's that fucking rabbit. Got his name. Oh, lots of money in here. Right, what do we do with this then? Go straight up, I'd imagine. Okay. We can try that again. There's a lot more dying in this one as well. Here we are. Uh, right better. Actually had a running start. Oh, we're back in this underground area. The Resident Evil area, I like to call it. Now, this needs turning on. So I can only assume we have to go down here. Hmm. dark around here, so I can't see where anything is there. Okay. So 
the ladder there. Um. <laughs> yeah, of course. So, something to do with that there. That's lit up. But that just looks like the way I need to go. What if we go under here? Nope. Uh, let's try... Is that anything? No. Let's try using this. Is there anything in here, first of all? No. Okay, let's try using this, just in case it powers stuff up. Oh, here we go. Right. Ah, okay, cool. Confusing me, then. Give me a five. Give me a one. Ah. Oh, we've got to keep it there. Interesting. Ah, okay, that's quite fun. So let's tie this round. Like that. Why would we want to go back this way? I want to go over there. Because the reason you go back that way is so you can... Get on the ladder? No? Damn. Can I reach that? That'd be amazing. No. Okay, let's do it again. Can I just get onto the ladder anyway? We need the other hand. Hang on. There it is. Oh, we also need to be up here. Okay, yeah, we, we don't use the ladder. That's pretty obvious, isn't it? I wonder if I need to... Right, two power. Maybe I need to get this and this, and then link it into there. Fuck me, that was fast. It's not going to get me back where I need to be, is it? But that's okay. Can we have an arm long enough to get up here? We can. It's a bit ugly, but it's working. Oh. We can't get up there if this is up there. What does it do? <laughs> so this makes this go up. Maybe if we have that pylon on... Okay. Let's try it this way. This is... I, I, again, I really need to learn what the fuck these things actually are. And the whole... the way the power works. So, I'm powering this up. I don't know why I have to power this up. Why the power can't just fucking go straight in there. But sure. We power this up. Whether we press that or not, that stays up. No, it doesn't. We have to complete the circuit. No. Okay, now it's... Now it is working. See what I mean? How the fuck does this thing work? Okay, it's down there. Now it's up. Right, okay, so we need to link that into there via the other thing, don't we? Okay. Please make it... There we go. What if we take that off now, and we... Now we're over here, we can start by doing this. Uh, sure. Oh, nice, we actually get to go straight back. So we do that. Then we do this. Then we link it to that. And then we complete... Complete the circuit. It's done, guys, come on. Oh, I mean, I did go all the way around. 
<laughs> oh, my goodness. Right. I think we're good. What have we done? We've enabled some more platforms. That's good. So now we can get across. Right, it's not just me, right? I went round that pylon and the arm didn't stay on the other side of it. No wonder I don't understand it. Anyway, stop complaining about the game, Steve. Okay. Head of Playcare. Stella Graber. Nice. Big room. Uh, another videotape is for the taking. The taping, you could say. Let's tape it. Chuck it in. Never know how to chuck it in. There we go. An emaciated oh, child. Mr. And Mrs. Hartman. Come on in. Please have a seat. How was your ride down? It was uh, nothing like we were expecting. Parents? Mr. Ludwig's speech was. Well, it just Perhaps. confirms for us that you're the orphanage we want to go through. It's a truly magical oh. place. Prospective parents. I felt right at home from the second Foster I parents. entered. You opened that door the first time, and you just know you're never going to leave. Kind of like finding a home as a child and Sinister. always thinking of it when you want to feel comforted. <clears throat> I understand you want to give Jeremy that home. Yes, and we would like to adopt. Ah, amazing. You'll be perfect for... Are you going to ask them any questions? Or are you just going to tell what? them who they're perfect for? Well, it appears there's been some complications. Complications? <laughs> What kind of complications? I... I don't know. Um, the form says... testing. <laughs> what does that mean? Tell us, what does that mean? Miss Graper, we deserve a better explanation than that. Testing. Uh, don't you think? You're in charge of all this! How could you not know? And why are we only finding out about this now? I... I don't. What does testing mean? Why, um... Why weren't they allowed to adopt them? I, I, I don't understand what testing would mean. And why they'd be upset about that. Maybe they know more than I do. Right, we can't go through there. Um, I think we must have to find a key for that then. Which will likely be in here. On the desk. Under the desk. Pinned up amongst all the shit on the walls. Um, a key, a key, a key. So we don't see the key symbol unless it's something we can unlock, right? Normally it just rattles and we don't see anything. Okay. All right, maybe that's... Maybe that's not the way. Again, so dark in this corner. Can't see what there is. Uh, do we just go straight back out? Well, this seems to be the way. Office, yeah, the councillor's office. Okay, we have to do some real searching. <laughs> um, right. Ah, oh, no. The key was in the vent. That classic place that you normally but a key. I'm going to start getting really cynical about this game now. I'm sorry if that ruins your experience, but stuff like that, it's like... 
it's already long enough. You don't need to pad it out by just randomly hiding a key in a random place that doesn't make any logical sense. I'm going to talk about all this at the end. Your time is running short. Turn and go home. Hi, I'm Crafty Corn. Hey, Crafty Corn. Thanks. Now, can you give me some red? Oh. Oh, that's please. Us? You're hiding more red from me. Give it here! Dear. Little Crafty Corn throwing all the toys out of her pram. I just hear purring. I'd better not have done. I've been told that... Oh my goodness. I've been told that Catnap can, uh, can just be hiding anywhere. I dislike all these things saying run. This way. Flickering dark vents. I reckon there's going to be a cat. My goodness. Let's just keep going forwards. It's all we can do. And there's some gas up ahead as well. Get the gas mask on. There was a thing that said your tools can't help you earlier on though, wasn't there? I'm hoping my tool can help me. Oh my goodness, I can't. <laughs> oh. Oh, there we go. I think we need to keep this on. Oh, I can't see anything. Right, there's a battery we can nick. We're at that place that we saw earlier. Good. More power over here. Gas production. Oh, head of gas production or something, I guess. Playhouse. Keep locked. Aha. Get some power into that somehow. By the way, understand your goal first, Steve. What are we trying to achieve? There's a, the poppies look. Okay, can't get through there. That's because we've got three wires that need to be sorted out in order to get through there. So... Oh, I wish it was lighter. Do we have anything we can reach that provides power? Here's a door. Nope, that's the one I just tried. Um, just try it in case I've got it wrong and that is the power provider. <laughs> Which it's not. There you go. Needs power? Needs power. Provides power? Nope. Needs power. Fridge here. Can't get through there, I don't think. Is that a door? That's a door. Is that anything in the corner there? I'm sorry, it's so dark, guys. I... Wish I could, uh, wish I could help. There's some horrible noise over here. Right, how do we get power into that then? <laughs> now I wish this gas mic wasn't so restrictive. Anything in the ceiling, any vent that some batteries are going to be hiding behind or something. Chairs. Oh, again, it's so dark, I couldn't even see that. Okay. Can't even see the last one. There it is. Okay. Three done. Now we can get out of here. And hopefully take this sodding gas mask off. Yes. 
Another one of these. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's do it. And I was getting a bit tired of these now. Okay, so we can bring that back. Good. And that brings this down. I assume we want to go up this. Ah. We need to pull the lever when everything else is ready. Oh. My. God. Okay, so. Why is any of this here? What does this achieve? Logically, in the in-game universe. You know, have your puzzles make sense. That's what I say. Right, let's send that through there. That goes into there, it's already correct. That goes into there. That's great, I think. That's what we want to do. So let's pull that. Everything powers on. Ah, okay. Uh, whoa, it's really fast. Boom. There we go. I can hear something beeping at me. So that's the elevator there. We need two batteries from somewhere. This one. No? Is this not a battery? Oh. Okay. Uh, how are we going to sort that out? By pulling it off like this, maybe? There it is. Right. Good. I can hear beeping over here as well. Maybe there's another one. Let's put this one in first. <laughs> Get away! Nice. In it goes. I need it for that one. Okay. Let's go back up. I suppose the uh, elevator would now work, wouldn't it? Maybe that's going to be easier than doing this over and over again. Right. That would be much easier than doing all the jumping. Yeah! And I, by the way, I just knew we would need the battery for this. <laughs> for this battery. There it is. Ah, oh, we gotta drag it. Because it's in a it's in a thing we can't break. Uh nope, don't want that. Where's the Where's the battery? There it is. Please tell me that broke open. Ah, oh, where is it? Thank fuck. Right, we got a battery. <laughs> Let's go back up there. Jam it in, and then we'll go to the next area. Where's that one? Oh, it's in the fucking door, isn't it?
I swear I reopened that just a second ago. Oh, oh I have to do all of that again. Oh my god, I thought it would... Yeah, okay. My mistake, I guess. open now? No. So that, I had moved it to open and it was actually closed. Fuck that thing. Right, okay. Unless I've just got that super wrong. Right, think, is there anything else we want to do before turning all this off? Is there anything that's going to mess everything up for me? I don't think so. The batteries are in. No, they're not. That one still needs to go in. We don't touch the switch up there. Bring this back in here. And it should just go. Oh, no. Uh, right, okay. Makes sense. We want that. At least we can do all this from up here. Go. That should be that. Fantastic. Return to the dome. High voltage inside, do not open. What's this? I can see shit appearing in there. Take every step like it's your last. Can you see the shit there? Oh, I thought it was little fingers coming out, clipping through. Do we go this way? No. Do we just open this? Oh, up there, maybe? Oh, up here. Well, thank goodness this thing's here. Bring the gas mask on. <clears throat> I have to do some fairly heavy editing on the old uh, puzzle front. I might leave that last one in its entirety, I don't know. I'll just edit out the bits where I'm not talking for a while. In we go. Oh my god, more. More batteries. The prototype has saved us all. Here's a battery. <laughs> yeah, alright. You got me. <laughs> I'll give you that game. You got me good. Flower. Oh, it's all gone weird. I can't move. Do you have any idea what you're doing? No. If I'm honest, not most of the time. He ripped my gas mask off, didn't he? That's the issue here. Gross. There he is at the end of the corridor, you see him? Grinning at me. This rictus Cheshire cat grin. Were you once the kids? I don't know. Fuck me, I can't believe he was around that corner. 
That was a very well placed jump. You see why we have to end this? No, I don't. You're going to have to explain it. Poppy. I think that's Poppy. I think it said Poppy on the side. Yeah. Know what's real? <laughs> it's Poppy. Don't jump on me. Okay. A horrendous sound. Oh my goodness, is that the prototype? It is as well. <gasps> it's got us. Unless I've got it wrong. Right. Okay. Run. Where's the only way we can go? Oh. So not, not through there then. We can't get up there. So what I was doing must have been right. Will you stop closing the fucking door? <laughs> I hate that the hands interact with everything. Okay. Good. There's a battery. That can go in there. Exit. Let's follow the exit signs, shall we? Don't need to change that. That's open. Exit. Oh, exit could be this way. Oh, that's not helpful. Exit must be this way. I don't recognise this. This looks different. Let's go this way. Yes, this must be correct. <laughs> Ooh. Don't make me do a puzzle to get out. There we go. The Something's Hour of Joy. Wrong. Oh my god, I would if I could see. I hear something beeping at me. Oh, it's here. Okay. The beeping is good. Let's go. Plug it in. I don't be in here as well, please. In it goes. Oh no. One last key. Poppy used it when you met up with her earlier to activate the skylight. I remember. Go back over there and find the cord. Yeah, but what's going to we'll have enough power? What's scripted to get me while I go over there, huh? Okay, we've got the skydome key. You told me to leave play care. Uh what your what's your name? Buddy cat nap and I did so I, I require you not to come and get me now I think it was over this way I think it would be nice to get the lights back on oh I'm not going back in there again here it is nicely lit up thank you So the cord's long enough. Stresses me out this cord. I've seen the way the physics work in this game sometimes. I'm not convinced it's going to be <laughs> long enough or uh, powered enough. We've got to give it the benefit of the doubt. There we go. Okay, that should be enough power. Looks now good. Take that huge battery to the gas production zone so we can get out of here. Fuck me, would you look at this? 
door by the cable car you arrived on. So that's up there, right? I think that's where the cable car was. Ah, it's there. There it is. God, I've forgotten that all of this was just to power the gas in a different direction. Let's go back to the gas plant. Honestly, I, I, I was not expecting it to be this long. Uh, dare I say padded out in some ways. Right, no power. Where do we bung this in? That looks good. I remember this. You fucker! Run! Get in! Got in. Oh! He's a bit horrible, isn't he? Oh my god. Uh, I haven't got a gas mask. Doesn't seem to matter now. Huh. Maybe we're immune to it now or something? Or maybe we just got it diverted enough? I don't know. The objective survive. Oh my god, another large area. I hope this is coming okay. through. There's no time to waste. Catnap is on his way. The room you're in used to be a sort of panic room. It's good. Okay. Now, in between the hallways, there's those two side rooms on both the left and the right. There'll be green power receivers in those little rooms. Lock off the hallways before Catman gets to you. Try them. Side rooms. Oh, like that? Yeah, okay. Uh, where needs some power? I <laughs> think I've powered everything up. I will bung that on the floor. Open that up. And get some power. Chuck it in there. Oh, hard good. to tell what's real and what's fake. What am I doing, though? Try using your flares on Catnap to make sure he's real. Well, he's going that way. Does that mean I... I can't get in. There he is. Okay. Time remaining. 155. Right, what are we doing? <laughs> Use our flares on him as well. Oh, here he is. Could I be safe here, I wonder? Brick. Uh, I don't know how to activate that. Right, I won't put batteries in straight away this time. I'll let her keep on saying her things rather than putting batteries and stuff. Okay. Okay. I mean, one there is good. Okay. We want to stop him coming in, don't we? Between the hallways, there's those two side rooms on both the left and the right. There'll be green power receivers in those little rooms. They can block off the hallways before Catman gets to you. Try them. Good. Uh, block off the hallway. But he came in this way. Okay. It'll be hard to tell what's real and what's fake. Try using your flares on Catman to make sure he's real. Ah, yes. He's I remember you saying there. that now. There might be a way to kill him if you can hold out. Do you see that computer terminal? No. Progressively use the batteries to fill the surrounding slots. Please, don't die. Ah, okay, there we go. 
So that's how we stop him coming in those two places. I don't know how we stop him coming in here. Is that? Oh, it's that one. Okay. Aggressively. Oh, no. Progressively put the batteries in. Okay, ready? Right. I understand now. He's off. Uh, I'm not sure what we do now. I need some more batteries. I assume that means he's real. Uh, so we need to jump up here. And then... Oh, fuck. I'm not good at this. Do that. Do that. Yeah, got him. Nice. Oh, we've just got to survive until that's done. Gotcha. That's not powered. All right. Okay, it's coming back. Not great. So, grab that. Get him to fuck off. Please insert a new battery. Into there. Alright, well we need that. This one's not being used for anything, is it? So... Oh, where's he coming? He's coming this way. Uh, okay, no worries. So we just grab that. Nope. Grab that. Yep. It's all good. There. Got rid of him, I think. <laughs> ah, he's coming back this way. So, we bounce. We bounce. We could check he's real, but isn't it just quicker if we, you know, just get rid of even fake ones? Ah, uh, but the real one might be coming while we're getting rid of a fake one. I hear you. I hear you. Should we shoot some more? Okay. All right, I understand. Yikes. Buckle up, guys. We're going to be here for a while. <laughs> okay. He takes ages when he starts coming through those areas, doesn't he? So we've got time. I get it. Come on, reload. I hope this is coming through. It's coming There's through. No time to the thing I'm worried about is, where do we get other batteries for? Do we have to stop using certain defense mechanisms? Like we can get rid of that, but we can't get rid of that. When it says use a new battery, there are four places for them as well, which concerns me. Okay, try it now. There we go, tried it. Oh, you're going to keep on telling me to do this, are you? That's annoying. <laughs> You're gonna make me go through each step. You should start me from here. When I die, start me from here. Okay. Get this. Are you real? Yes. Seems to be hitting him, so I can only assume that means he's real. Whoops. Come on. Right. That's him gone. Who's next? Oh, you're not real. Okay, interesting. Okay, he's coming back this way. Because of course he is. Why wouldn't you come back the way you were just coming? I would. We've got time. Shit. Not if we uh, let that run out, we don't. There he goes. Right. Shoot some more of them. Insert a new battery. Okay. Uh, bung that one in. Fake. Real. Oh my god. I see. That's what that was all about. Definitely a fake one. Definitely a fake one. Alright, that's cool. Done. 
tank. It's done. Get rid of the fake ones and insert a new battery. This one, I guess. But now I can't power that, which is a shame. Oh, it's just an extra way. Oh, that's fine. Okay, I'm fine with that. Okay, uh, we need this. Come on. He's gone. He's gone. Ah, uh, this is fun. I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is fun. I know what we're doing. That one's real again. So, uh, we open that. We get that. Get rid of the fake ones. That's coming up. Close it down. Good. New battery again, huh? It's got to be that. Chuck it in. 45 seconds remaining. That's fake. That's real. So we get that. This is very, very Five Nights at Freddy's suddenly. Shoot you. Shoot you. He's coming. I assume... Okay. Yeah. I assume that's always real, that one. Twelve seconds left. Happy days. Oh, hello. He's real. Okay. We need two. Bounce. We need two. Get that. We need two. Chuck it in there. He's gone. What's this? Now. Yes, we did it, did we? Yeah, get him. Sorry, catnap. Oh, prototype's not happy about that. Stab him in the eyes. Oh, no. Burned catnap is going to... Yeah. Get stabbed through the face. There you go. It says time remaining two. Should I be worried? My green hand is... Uh completely buggered. <laughs> well, they, yeah, that was a good final fight slash battle, that. I, uh... Once, <laughs> once, I list, once I was able to hear her whole speech, that explained things well. I shouldn't have started putting batteries in so quickly, but to be fair, one of the first things she said was, put a battery in and see what happens. Wow, you did it! I did it. Do I trust One only? Step closer to the prototype. One step closer to winning. You've made your choice. You're staying to help Poppy. Well, finish the job. This win is yours. Cool. Why is that not working? I put this in. No signal. Oh. Press the red button. Is that enough? Yes? Yes. I was really worried about these then, that I'd have to go through all that again. <laughs> but it looks like we're good. And we never asked why we have to get all the gas to go left. But left it goes. Let's see. Regroup with Poppy in the hatch room. That looks a bit prototypey to me. Where are you? But you've done it again. The impossible. 
Just like I knew you would. Don't be creepy now. The red smoke is diverting. Everything is falling into place thanks to you. But if we're to keep going with them, then you deserve to have the truth. Oh yes, she is. Yeah, give me the truth. Because of your co-workers. You want to know what happened and why? This. This is your answer. We get the law tape. Called it Power of Joy. I've seen it written everywhere. Oh, you're going to play it for me. Where's the TV? Definitely not missing a screen, am I? Very nice music. Oh, there's the TV. Oh my god, have I just missed most of this? That's shit coming to life and killing all the people. Boogie bot, I think. Very hard to see. That's the cat. Been there. How did it happen? It went on so long. I assumed that happened. Agonizingly long. They tried to hide. To run. Anything to stay alive. I remember their cries. What's going on? Why is this happening? What are those things? <laughs> Senseless slaughter. That's all it really was. They killed everyone. The guilty, the innocent, didn't matter. All that death didn't fix anything. And then, once it was all over, they dragged those corpses down below where they'd never be found. And they ate the bodies to stay alive. Uh-oh. Prototype has to die for this. For everything. I assume it was the prototype that made them all come alive and mad. Mad and bad. Soon as we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? After you! Thought she was telling me that they'll send the lift back up, so I'm not trusting you there. Bye. Bye bye, kiss. All right. Once we hit the ground, we need to be cautious. There's something. Uh oh. Kiss, he's been killed. By presumably the prototype. Well, I mean, let's get out of there for God's sake. Well, Poppy 3. Poppy Playtime 3. What do I have to say about Poppy Playtime 3? What a brilliant beginning it was. What an excellent bit of world building. What an excellent load of, yeah, design and, uh, you know, expansion of the facility and the law and everything and then it just went on and on and I get this in games a lot I think a lot of people like it when games are longer because then you feel like you're getting more value for money right you you say well it cost me 10 pounds or whatever and I've spent what well, ten dollars and I've spent three hours so that's like 333 an hour great um 
but if it's an extra hour of just really tedious puzzles or really tedious back and forths with not really anything useful in it, um, I don't know. It depends on the game. Some games are just puzzles like that. I mean, I've just been playing through the Talos Principle 2 DLC, um, which came out recently as of time of playing this. I don't know when you're going to see this. And that is basically all just doing puzzles for the sake of puzzles. But I don't know. This game doesn't feel like its puzzles need to be there, per se. It feels... To me, I think maybe they should just get rid of them. All of those shooty hands going around the pylons, which I still haven't managed to wrap my head around every time I come back to it. Again, that's on me, possibly. Um, yeah, so it was a bit too long. It kept on going, now you need to do this, now you need to do this, now you need to do this, whereas you really just want to get on with the game um, and, you know, have the set pieces, have the interesting bits. You've also... The, the, the big issue for me was the direction and pacing and design of the encounters in this game. Really, really... Oh, someone called Eric True. Um, really messed me up on this one. And I don't think that's just my preference coming through either. When you've got a really complicated, uh, fast escape sequence, like in the first two games, you know, they both went really well, and you were put right back at the start of that chase sequence. You know, there was very little messing around waiting to replay it. With that dog escape sequence, it took forever to uh, it took forever to get back each time. It was it was a full minute from dying to restarting the actual chase, and that's that's not on. Um, it should be faster than that, and. It wasn't as fun a chase sequence. It wasn't scary, like the Mummy Longlegs one, like the Huggy one in the first one. Both of those were amazing chase sequences because you didn't have multiple routes to try and remember and they didn't all look the same necessarily. You, you had... I mean, maybe the Huggy one was a little bit, but it was less long and there was a bit less of the old doors going up and down all over the place. Um, I don't know. It was less, less disorienting. You've then got things like the... The play area, whatever it was called, you know, with all those little toys following you, and I had no idea about the flare gun. We picked up the flare gun, but unless I missed a note about it, I couldn't see anything describing how you use it, what you use it for. I, I didn't know whether it was something that gave power to something, I didn't know if it was a flare or, or what it was. So it never even occurred to me that using it against something as a weapon, which you've never done before in this game, would be possible. I think the other thing that really started to wind me up was when we were in the orphanage, you know, the, the home sweet home. I had to cut a lot out of that episode because so much of it was me wandering back and forth, back and forth, trying desperately to find the next place to go. And it's not like you have an idea of where you want to go. A lot of times in games like this, you're presented with some options. You see a thing, you go, oh, well, I'll pick that up because that's probably going to be needed. Oh, it was needed over here. Bam, put the thing in the thing and you're done. What you need to be presented with in one of these games is directed towards the problem so you know what you're trying to do. And then you need to go, right, I know what I need to do. Now to find the solution. That did not happen a lot of the time in this. It was just, here's a massive area, here are some disparate things for you to get. Getting up into the ceiling um, in that area took me so long, so, so long. And that was really, that was really tough because that sucked a lot of my enthusiasm out. I was on edge, creeping and crawling around that area. And then, you know, an hour later, I was creeping and crawling around that area until I found that I had to go up into the vent. One or two of those puzzles, that, that one with the platforms, you probably remember it was maybe this episode, maybe last episode, I don't know how I've cut these in future. Hi, future me. But those platforms where I had to jump up and then jump down and then scroll back up and then get the power to go round both pylons and all that, that, that was confusing. It was hard to know where you're supposed to go. Those pylons I'm not a fan of anyway. We saw very little of him. 
one thing I will give this, oh, and also, um, speaking of padding, so much of it was just padding, explore this, go through here, go around this long area, that just didn't really serve much of a purpose. Why would there be batteries lying around to open random doors? There wouldn't be. That, that doesn't make sense in the logic of the game world. Why would it just be sitting around and you go, oh, that battery goes in there. Think about why it's there. It breaks your immersion for me. Um, we play encounter, no thanks. Uh, the, uh, what I will say is there are still some really good positives to this. The production values are great. We've got some brilliant overarching story, we've got some great graphics, some great sound design, some great... Lots of it is really, really good, nicely polished. Apart from that fucking save, god, nearly choked there. Apart from that save issue I had, you know, you should be able to save and come back. I left, it said your progress has been saved, I came back, didn't have the key to get into the school, the school was locked. What do you do? Uh, unless I had browsed for 20 minutes like I did to try and find out how to unsoft lock myself, which is a known issue, it's on those forums, and it's been a known issue for five months. Uh, it's not been fixed. And it's a simple thing, you just have that checkpoint load with you with the key in your hand. That's all you need to do. Um, but it's not been fixed, and anyone else who comes across this will, unless they <laughs> have the sense to go to a speedrunning site and put a different, older save in, and then have to go through a whole section of the game again to get back to where they were, that's what I had to do. That was the best option for me. Otherwise, you'd have to go through the entire thing again. That shouldn't happen. So, while the game is mostly polished, that was a bit of really poor unpolish. Uh, anyway, that was a rough bit. And finally, the final sequence there uh, against him. That was excellent. I thought that was really, really good. Um, brilliant encounter. I think that's an amazing way to finish it and to have him. I like that sort of thing. Um, also, the gas mask was way too dark. I tried turning up the gamma several times, no avail. You can't see what you're doing and it's just frustrating. Not difficult, just frustrating. Anyway, that's a mixed bag, very mixed bag there. Um, don't think I didn't enjoy it, because I did enjoy aspects of it, and I hope that my cynicism and fatigue with the problems in the game didn't spoil your experience too much. I mean, if it did, you probably aren't here watching this now, but... Anyway, I'd love to know what you thought, the few of you who have got to the end of my spiel here. Um, I feel I've been fair. That's that button. Smash!